Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video of mine. If you guys are new to my channel, hi my name is Jessie. Oh my goodness, I feel like it has been a minute. I am pretty much used to uploading every day and now that I haven't even uploaded for like three days, it feels like forever to me. So today I have five products right here with me that are four star rated. Some of them are four and a half stars as well and I would like to try them out. So if you guys want to see my overall thoughts at the end of this video, just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first item that I am going to try out is this Revlon Photo Ready Perf blah, Perfecting Primer. Now this is 27 ml, I forgot the price, but just in case you guys are interested, of course I will be putting all the information that I have used today on the description box below. So it says here, why am I too loud? It says here, apply to clear skin use alone or under makeup so i already have a moisturizer on because that's what i normally do just so you guys know and then as you can see this is really new i haven't really tried this i think they only have this shade which is 001 what is wrong with me i feel like i can't even talk so just in case you guys are wondering why am i not using mac products i don't have my gratis yet so I don't know if I will have one or whatever, but hopefully I will because again, I'm selling Mac. So please do not clap me in the house or whatever because I was told that I can use any products as long as they are inside Ulta. So I want to put it out there because somewhere out there, there is going to be this one person who's going to, ooh, I feel like I put a lot. But anywho, I'm just going to put that directly on my skin. I could not wait to tell you guys... Because I was planning, if I ever get some gratis, I was planning to get the best of MAC and let you guys know all about it. So, it feels so good already. I love the feeling. Right away, I feel like it has stripped down the oil. I don't want to add a lot because I think that one pump is actually enough to cover my whole area. It feels a little, not really sticky, but it has this tacky feel, feeling. Now moving on to the next product. So this one is the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I chose the shade Dark Brown because I have no idea. That day I was actually just really tired and ready to move on with life. <laughs> So I'm just going to open this up. You know what? Since I always do this, if you guys are new to my channel, every time I put on primer, I apply powder first. I set it with powder. I always set my primer with powder. So since I have a powder right here with me, which I'm also going to review, I'm going to use that one to set my face or set my primer. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't remove it. Such a failure in life. Let me just close that real quick. And then let me grab the powder. So this is the Ulta Double Duty Wet and Dry Pressed Powder Foundation. I got the shade medium because I feel like I'm medium. I love the packaging. This one reminds me of the body shop back in the day. So it has a mirror right here. Oh, it doesn't. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Ha. <laughs> Why did I expect that there's a mirror right here? The mirror is right here, guys. I am totally sorry. Please do not unfriend me. Please do not go away. I love you. You guys are my everything. And then it comes along with a sponge right here. They're going to say, like, I hate this video. This is so not trustworthy. Don't leave, okay? So I am so not sure if there are still people who wet their foundation, their dry foundation, and put it in their face. I think those kinds of people are the ones who have like really flawless skin or someone who doesn't need to cover anything. Since the setting sprays have been made, I think nobody does that right now because, you know. I think I've used that before. If you live in the Philippines, you're probably familiar with the brand Kukuryu the two-way cake foundation and I actually loved it because once you put it in it feels like a mask and your makeup doesn't go away so some people do that but since I already have a setting spray and millennial time I don't do that anymore so okay I believe that that is enough now let's go back to the brow pencil so again I got the shade dark brown and since I could not remove that I'm gonna leave it like that looks disgusting <laughs> so 
right over here you will see the product so what i like about this one is that it's twistable it's not like a pencil pencil you don't need to sharpen it and then it also has a spoolie which is very similar to guess what the abh one so i am excited because this one has really good ratings and i got really curious about it i love doing my brows so brows make a huge difference in our lives and if this is really good, I totally recommend it. I'm gonna start at the very bottom. Whew, I'm not gonna lie. This is creamier than the ABH, I'm not even kidding. Let me swatch it in the back of my hand. Remember when I was swatching the ABH, um, so the brow pencil in ABH, and I'm having a hard time? This one is way creamier. But you know, we all have different preferences if you guys like it hard, a little bit hard, because, like, I do understand the purpose. I feel like it is really meant to be that way because it's mimicking the hair of the brows, right? This one is best for filling in, but you can also use it for, you know, mimicking brow hair just so because you can manage the way you apply it. It looks really natural. So if I wanted to make it more intense, all I have to do is, of course, add more. The next product that I will be using is this Benefit Erase Paste. You guys know this is already in the archives, baby. This has been in the market for a really long time. And I'm just using my finger for now and then use a tiny beauty blender to blend everything. And as you can see from the one that has a concealer, it looks amazing. And then moving on to the next product, which is this Ulta Pressed Powder Foundation. I am so surprised, guys. This is cake, 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 as you can see. And then the last product that I will be trying on today is this matte lip cream from Ulta as well in the shade Brilliant. I have tried their mini samples in the past and I was pretty satisfied. Hopefully this color would turn off fine throughout the day because I will be exposed to a lot of people and I don't want to have disgusting lips. <laughs> okay guys, this is going to be my makeup for today and then I will be back at the end of the day to let you guys know what I feel about these products. So yeah, we'll see you guys later. By the way, I just want to let you guys know that I am aware that my face is lighter than my neck. This is my personal preference. Honestly, I don't like putting foundation in my neck because I feel so icky. But since I will be going out and there's gonna be a lot of people, I'll just put a little bit of powder from here to here because I don't have any choice. I will be wearing something that has a not really no neckline, low neckline, but it's gonna be all the way from here to here. And it's a cold shoulder. It's one of those clothes that you have seen in my haul video. So I'm gonna go right ahead and leave because I don't wanna be late. And yeah. Hi everyone, I am back and it's almost 11 p.m. I have this makeup on since 12.30, so that is like a really, really long time. I didn't really retouch anything in my face except my lip product and the reason why is because... Now, I'm gonna start with that since I mentioned it right now. So for the matte lip cream, this color specifically, I'm surprised because I actually love the ultra matte lip cream. So for this one specifically, which is the Brilliant, I didn't really enjoy it because it's so streaky. At first, it was really good. It really looks good. But after an hour and a half, I feel like some of my lips is patchy and it looks so disgusting. So I have the audacity to not retouch or anything like that, knowing that I work with a lot of people coming in and they're gonna judge my makeup. I work at a makeup counter, I have to be beat all the time, but I kinda risk that, but you know, after eating lunch, everything was removed. I love the finish of it when it dries, it's not sticky. That's the only good thing about this, but it's weird because I love the nude shades of their um, matte lip, lip cream, so I don't know what went wrong with this one. This is actually a different lip color already, and as you can see, my face hasn't been retouched at all. 
look at this oiliness happening right here now moving on to the next product the primer i am very impressed though you can see my t-zone area is super oily look at the other parts of my face it looks flawless and let me tell you guys my face is in this condition and i would still receive some compliments with my customers and i'm like are you guys just playing or whatever they say that your makeup looks really good your makeup blah, blah, blah. your makeup is well done your face is so flawless and i'm like what really <laughs> but yeah i really do believe in this product it really convinced me so well now moving on to the ulta double duty pressed powder i like this one better than the nyx stay matte i'm not even kidding this pot if you want cake definitely go ahead and grab this one because this one really gives you a mask coverage so if you guys are on a budget might as well consider this one because it works well dry and you know i used my damp sponge with this one and it worked so well i feel like it has a huge um i think it's better when you use it when wet because my sponge was wet and i used it with a powder and i was like pressing it against my skin i feel like that made a huge difference with the makeup that I have today because look at it even if I'm oily I still receive some compliments meaning it still looks good in person so I can't argue with that and I must admit that my pores seem to be hidden so I love that about this definitely go ahead and try this one out and then we have this brow product right here guys i prefer this one better than the anastasia one you guys have seen me review that one but i prefer this one better why because this one is creamier than the abh one i have two brow wigs and they are really hard and you really need pressure to put them on again it's just personal preference if you like it that way well then i'm very happy for you that doesn't have to do anything with our friendship i'm just one opinion do you know what i mean but if you haven't tried this one yet, I'd definitely give this one a try. This could be your next favorite thing. I mean, look at the brush. It's very identical to the APH one. I'm laughing because it looks exactly the same. Like, how? Oh. This one, I must say, is a little bit softer, though, compared to the ABH. But then again, $10? It's really nice. Look at my brows. I was expecting, because this is creamy, right? So as I was expecting... For the tail of my makeup to be like diminished or anything like that but i was working again i just got home and it's already 11 and this makeup has been in my face since 12 30. imagine that and i've been standing all day walking around running around and my face looks like this i gotta admit inside the store it's a little bit hot because our air conditioner is I don't know what's happening with our air conditioner, but it's really hot inside. So I am really impressed with this one, considering this is an affordable brand. Like, I do not know how they do it. So for the last one, which is the Erase Paste, I definitely love the coverage of this one. You guys saw it earlier, but I'm gonna give, and I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give this one for like seven to six, six to seven hours because after that time frame I got some creases right over here but then again this is my first impression take note of that it might have been something not being compatible with the foundation that I've used or whatever but then again it creased on me but I do love the coverage because as you can see here it's like definitely not there so I'm also surprised because I do love it even if it creased on me the important thing is that you guys know that I always have this crease over crease on my under eyes and it literally covered that if you guys do not know what I'm talking about you can look at my other videos and you can see that I really have two layers of bags under my eyes and I recommend everything except for the ultra matte lip cream so let me know if you have tried some of these products whether it worked for you or not let me know I want to hear your um, thoughts as well and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it has been forever so I have been closing for like two straight days I just want to thank God for giving me this amazing job because this job is so fulfilling 
I have customers coming in and they are like, you know, they have different types of stories and I'm so happy that I was able to help them out. It's just so, it really makes my heart really happy. So that is, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for always being here and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. You guys have no idea. Every time I see a view in my video, I'm like so happy. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you all so much for watching and if you are new, sorry if I talk a lot. This is just me. I want my videos to be a little bit personal when it comes to my life so that you can get to know me better. So yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video and if you have any requests, put them on the link down below. Okay? But I'll try to get the naked heat or whatever. But I feel like that's something that I won't use because the colors there are something that we already have. And also, I'm not gonna forget about the ColourPop, which is just $16 per palette. Like, that's insane. But yeah, I'll update you guys and I'll see you guys next time.